Can children in Malaysia be converted to Islam by just one of their parents? Well, according to the federal court, the answer would be no. In 2018, the Apex Court ruled that unilateral child conversions were unconstitutional as a part of a landmark case involving Indra Gandhi, who you've probably heard of before. Indra spent nine years going through various courts to regain custody of her children who had been converted to Islam by her ex-husband without her knowledge. But even though the federal court ruled in her favour and set a precedent for future cases, unilateral conversions are still happening. Lo Si Hong failed in her legal bid to nullify the unilateral conversion of her three children to Islam. So what's the deal? Unilateral child conversion is when just one parent is allowed to consent for a child to convert to a particular religion. Child conversion laws for Islam vary by state. Currently, the federal territories, Perlis, Kedah, Malacca, Negeri Sembilan, Pera and Johor allow unilateral conversions. And it was in Pera where arguably the most well-known case took place. In 2009, Indra Gandhi was going through a divorce from her then-husband, Fatmanadan. On March 11 that year, he converted to Islam and left their home. But things took a much darker turn on March 31st when he kidnapped their 11-month-old daughter, Prasanna, and two days later, unilaterally converted Prasanna and her two older siblings to Islam using their birth certificates. That is the day everything changes in my life. How could he convert? My, my children without my knowledge since I'm the, the biological mother and at that time my elder daughter and my son was with me and this is really shocked me my family we was trying to understand why this was happening it never never occurred to me that one day this will happen to me Indra took the case to court and in 2010 the Ipo High Court granted her full custody of the children Three years later, it annulled the conversion of her children and ruled it unconstitutional. It would go one step further in 2014 and quash the Sharia court's decision to award custody to Padmanathan. The Perak State Religious Authorities appealed this decision together with the state and federal governments. Meanwhile, the High Court issued an arrest order on Padmanathan because he missed the deadline to return Prasanna to Indra. At this point, Indra had not seen Prasanna for five years. Finally, in 2018, the case reached the federal court which gave the landmark ruling that unilateral child conversions were unconstitutional. The nine years, it was really a nightmare, but today it was like a dream. Personally, I was not expecting the victory. When the judge delivered the judgment, the hope was there that despite so many years, I will see back Prasanna. Not even once I started this case, uh, in the intention of this case could actually really help a lot of out there who is in the same uh, uh, boat as me. I'm proud that uh, this landmark ruling really could help a lot to reunite the mother or the father with their children. After my case, uh, I tried to keep in track with uh, uh, other cases as a mother, as, as a feel for, for my children. No religion should uh, separate a child and the mother or the father. The precedent set by Indra's case helped resolve other unilateral conversion cases. But it didn't stop all of them. Lo's battle is far from over. Her lawyer said her next date with the court may well be to seek a judgment to overturn the conversion of her children to Islam without her consent by the police Islamic authorities. In 2020, former chef Lo Siu Hong's three children were secretly converted to Islam in Perlis, where state laws allow unilateral conversions by her then-husband. He kidnapped them amidst a custody battle and divorce proceedings. A judicial review was filed, but it was quashed by the High Court on May 11, 2023, citing Lo's children's certificates of conversion as conclusive proof. It begs the question, how are cases like this still happening and why did the court come up with such a different ruling in Lo's case? Now, in the recent case of Lo Siu Hong, this occurred in the state of Perlis. Now, Perlis is one of the seven states that still hang on to the old law, where children can be converted by the mother or the father. These enactments have not been updated to reflect the Indira Gandhi decision of 2018. The constitution has made it very clear by way of Article 12 sub 4 that unilateral conversions are illegal. So the state legislature now is 
under a duty to make sure that whatever laws that are enacted by the state legislature are in conformity with the federal constitution because any law that goes against the federal constitution is unconstitutional. Today, Indra and 13 others affected by unilateral conversions have filed a judicial review to compel state legislatures to amend their laws. And clearly, these laws don't just affect Muslims, as Lo and Indra will tell you. Till today, the whole Malaysia knows that Prasanna is still not in my hand. I have never given up hope. No matter it takes how many years, and uh, I will definitely fight to the end, at least to see my daughter. Even though we have federal court decision, it's a landmark decision. But why, even after five years, I still couldn't see my daughter? I, 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 I don't understand that. Why religion has to be the issue here? Prasanna is my blood. And nobody can separate that. Prasanna will be my daughter forever.